Hello and welcome learners. Today once again I am starting with a question. Is English fluent speaker highly educated? What do you think? There is a conception. A conception leads among the common as well as the established people that those who speak good fluent English are highly educated or more educated. This thought or conception is so prominent that whenever we see anyone speaks very good English fluently, we consider them separately. We watch them respectfully. So this is fact. We must admit that. But the question arises, whenever anyone speaks in English, are they really well educated? What's your opinion? We change our gesture towards the people who speak good English, who speak fluently in English, who convey their heart's content fluently in English with a smiling face. We have different feelings to them. We consider them differently. But the question arises, are they really well educated? What do you think? Is it a fact? What do you people think? On the other hand, what I think. Ask me what I feel about them. If you think the people who speak fluent English in front of others, who can convey their heart's feeling fluently in English, yes, they are educated. Yes, they are educated. To some extent you are correct. If you think them educated, yes, they are educated. Without education, it's not completely possible to speak in English in front of others, to express our everything in front of others. We need knowledge. We need knowledge of English. We need education on English. We need the skill of speaking in English. So all these knowledge, education, skill. So without these, you cannot be fluent. To be fluent, you need all these. First of all, you need knowledge. You need English education. And then most important, you need to speak. You acquire, you should acquire the skill. When you will acquire the skill, the skill of speaking English, whatever you think, you can convey yourself. Then you will become an English speaker. You will be fluent. You will be fluent and you can speak in front of others fluently. This is the thing. This is the fact. So remember one thing. Whenever you get anyone, encounter anyone that he or she is speaking very good English. There is a long history of speaking English behind him or her. Within few days, within few months, it's not possible. The practice, the hard work behind speaking English continuously or fluently cannot be seen. But what you watch, but what you watch that a person comes in front of us, speak fluently, speak confidently, without any hesitation, without any hindrance, without any problem, speaks clearly, with clear pronunciation, with clear concept, with smiling face. Is it a matter of one day? No. Don't consider it a matter of one day. So coming to the point, are they educated or not? Yes, they are educated. On the contrary, there are millions of highly educated people. There are millions of highly educated people who cannot speak in English. It's not their fault. They are not skilled in speaking English. They are not skilled in speaking English. They don't have the practice of speaking English. They could not acquire the knowledge and skill of speaking. So, educated people may not be a good speaker. He or she may have good knowledge on English, but cannot be a good speaker without the practice, without acquiring the knowledge. So, the point comes, a good English speaker must have the knowledge of English, English language, 
in his education and most of all he has the skill of speaking on the other hand only people are educated is not sufficient to speak in english to speak in english apart from being educated you need to practice you need to speak you need to speak continuously days after days then only you can acquire this knowledge that you can speak in front of others whenever it is needed in english fluently there are some people who express a kind of doubt that some people they know few sentences of english and they repeat the same sentence again and again and show off themselves yes this kind of people are everywhere but speak fluently continuously whatever needed to the point you need education without proper education without proper skill without continuous practice you cannot get up to that point you cannot get up to that mark to go up to that mark you need continuous practice only learning only memorizing few sentences 10 or 12 sentences you will speak repeatedly again and again you cannot be a english speaker you cannot be fluent in english so in spite of being educated you may not be a good speaker on the other hand only speaking few sentences you are not at all a speaker you are a person who shows off that i know few sentences so you people want to be fluent in english want to acquire this skill so you must have knowledge and education on english you need regular practice fruitful practice effective practice so that you can acquire this knowledge english words will come out from your mouth like fountain your tongue will dance with english words so to get that power you need continuous practice so remember one thing whoever speak fluent good english never underestimate them don't consider them that they are not highly educated they may not be highly educated but they must have education they must have confidence and they must have knowledge on english that's why they can speak in english and they can deliver themselves in front of others in our country english is not mother tongue in most of the countries the language english is not the mother tongue most of the people they speak in english they acquire their skill so what do you think to speak in english you should follow the same path there is no shortcut within few days within few months applying few tricks there is no trick there is no shortcut there is only a long and enormous and rigorous way to cross only after that you can gain fluency there is another question if i have fluency shall i continue with forever no now you have fluency and you can speak fluently you acquired this knowledge after long practice if you stop speaking within few months you will see that you lost your fluency so there is a two way problem to acquire this skill you need enormous practice and again to maintain fluency you need to speak regularly so are you confident enough to go through this be confident have patience only only with the help of patience and rigorous practice you can come to that point to be an english speaker you don't need a degree on the other hand if you have a degree it doesn't mean that you are a good english speaker you may be fluent in english you may not be fluent in english and above all you are listening to my words watching my videos it means you are enthusiastic enough to acquire this knowledge and if you are enthusiastic enough so be with me continuously follow my videos continuously there are other videos there are lots of youtubers they speak very good in english so follow them there is another question try to speak pronouncing every word perfectly your pronunciation may not be like the people of england people of america there is no need to speak like them whatever words and sentences you are learning try to speak them correctly try to pronounce them correctly practice continuously and never lose hope do hard work the result will follow you will be fluent 
you will be fluent with the passing of time. How soon you will be fluent? It depends how much knowledge of English you have, how much practice you are doing, how you are trying to acquire the skill. So have patience to practice. Keep speaking. I am concluding here. Bye. Love you all.